Well, good morning, everyone, or good afternoon-ish. Thank you all for being here. And uh, thank you for joining us for this afternoon of events that uh, are part of the Brook Byers Institute for Sustainable Systems Sustainability Showcase, and that um, are kicking off a whole weeks of events for Georgia Tech's SDG Action and Awareness Week that is being coordinated by the Office of Sustainability. And uh, one of the main instigators, Drew, uh, is sitting there. So thank you for all your work, and thank you, everyone, for all your work. So I'm Beryl Toktai. Um, can we go on to the next slide? Right. Uh, in case I forgot my titles, they're up there. <laughs> so uh, I'm Interim Executive Director of BBISS and uh, Faculty Director of the Racy Ander Ray Anderson Center for Sustainable Business. And... Um, co-chair of Sustainability Next, and I'm joined by Jennifer, Dr. Gen Jennifer Chirico, who is the Associate Vice President of Sustainability, and of course, a very important thing is that she's a double jacket as well. So, yeah, <laughs> clap. <laughs> so Jen and I both serve as co-chairs of Sustainability Next, and what is Sustainability Next? Taking its cues from the Georgia Tech Institute Strategic Plan, Sustainability Next is a strategic plan itself that gives us, gives our community with a blueprint to advance sustainability in all dimensions in everything that we do. So combining education, research and operations, it represents a comprehensive collaboration among different units and leaders and um, students and staff on campus so that we may together address and advance the full range of sustainable development goals. So what Sustainability Next does is to call on our community to be a global sustainability thought leader, to catalyze innovation through education and research, and to lead by example in the practice and culture of sustainability. You can scan the top QR code there if you want to learn more about Sustainability Next and how you can be involved. And then the other two QR codes uh, will allow you to get news periodically from both BBISS and the Office of Sustainability. Let me turn over to Jen. Okay, thank you, Beryl. Can you hear me? Everyone can hear me? Um, well, it's been a pleasure uh, and privilege to work with the Sustainability Next team since I came back to Georgia Tech. Uh, we're thrilled to share the important work that Georgia Tech is doing to advance our sustainability initiatives. With the support of our president and executive leadership team, we've had the opportunity to make incredible progress over the last few years, especially over the last year. It has come a long way. It has been a lot of planning, but now we are at a point where we're beginning to implement the Sustainability Next Plan, which is exciting. Uh, and we invite the entire Georgia Tech community to join us. This week, you're going to hear from Georgia Tech colleagues about the important work they are doing in sustainability across research, education, and campus operations. On the operational side, our campus is in the process of a re re revamp as we integrate sustainability initiatives to support increased energy efficiency, renewable energy, water conservation, green space, decreased emissions, landfill waste and air pollution, cleaner transportation, and healthier green buildings. So these are just a few of the many things that we're working toward. Uh, some key successes in sustainability at Georgia Tech in the last year include establishing Georgia Tech's Office of Sustainability. So a lot of folks, we did have an Office of Campus Sustainability, but this was reinvested and reestablished as a larger office and brought together multiple units. So we'd have a little more teeth and be able to move uh, more aggressively on our sustainability goals. And we have a lot of those folks presenting this week and in the room today. So thank you to our Office of Sustainability team. Uh, and in the last year, I just want to highlight a few of the things that we've accomplished as a team uh, with help from the rest of the Georgia Tech community. First, we completed the Association for the Advancement of Sustainability in Higher Education. That's the ACE Sustainability Tracking Assessment and Rating System called STARS. So this was a huge initiative. This process required completing more than 67 credit areas spanning campus planning, administration, operations, engagement, academics, and more. That was led by Emma Blanford. Thank you, Emma. Uh, we also completed Georgia Tech's first climate action plan. 
So this was a comprehensive 130 page plan for reaching net zero emissions by 2050. This was a collaboration across the campus uh, and that will be published later this month or early next month. So we do have a panel on that after this one. We also developed a greenhouse gas inventory. So we have a robust set of data for campus now on our emissions uh, and an emissions modeling tool. We were the first campus, I think in the Southeast, I believe, uh, to complete a carbon sequestration analysis. So that's a model to understand how much carbon dioxide is sequestered via Georgia Tech's campus landscape and natural resources. And we worked through the Living Campus Initiative to develop a climate vulnerability assessment. Uh, and I believe we were the first university also in the Southeast to do this. We launched the process uh, for Green Lab certification this year. That's just getting started, being led by Alex Ortiz and some other folks. And uh, we conducted a full zero waste analysis and provided zero waste strategy recommendations for the Institute. So we're hoping to move on implementing some of that uh, in the next year. And finally, we launched the Living Campus, which is an initiative to engage the campus community in real world sustainability projects to support our campus. So that's really working across research and education and providing data for researchers to be able to conduct research projects right here on campus and also for students to do uh, campus projects, student projects, class projects, uh, and they can contact us to get that data. So I'll pass it to Beryl, and she's gonna talk a little bit more about the education and research initiatives that have been accomplished. Thanks, Jennifer. Your leadership and your team's work has been really fantastic, and we all look forward to collaborate on the Living Campus Initiative, for example, that really tries to bridge between campus operations and uh, research and education. So, you know, Georgia Tech has, over the last decade or even more, Georgia Tech has really gone from strength to strength in sustainability research and, and education. But with this plan, we're really doubling down on that. And since the plan launched, we have grown our investments in the three interdisciplinary research institutes in this area. That's BBISS, but also Strategic Energy Institute and the Renewable Bioproducts Institute. We have strengthened ties and collaboration between those institutes as well as other centers of excellence on campus. We have distributed a series of research and education seed grants that um, have brought out a really, really interesting set of research topics to the fore from all colleges, really. We've created a center of excellence in community-engaged research, pivoting off of our long-running Serve, Learn, Sustain initiative. We have launched new communities of practice. One is in teaching with the SDGs, and another one is a fellowship program in energy and environmental justice. We've also launched a new entrepreneurship program called SustainX, and that is a collaboration with CreateX that's focused on accelerating entrepreneurship by our students and um, faculty specifically as it relates to climate tech, uh, sustainability, and social impact. And actually, one of those startups was just announced as uh, the most disruptive MBA startup in the world. <laughs> so it's been exciting to launch all these programs and to see all the energy. Um, some of these programs are going to be also um, present throughout the week, so you can look at the entire STG calendar of events. For example, the research talks um, are presented in lightning talks from Wednesday to Friday. There is a teaching with SDGs uh, lightning talk as well on Thursday, and many other uh, exciting events. Thanks, Beryl. So you can see we have been hard at work and engaging the larger community. And so I would like to give a big thank you to President Cabrera and the executive leadership team for their unwavering support and commitment to sustainability. They've really shown that they care about it and are willing to invest in it. Um, and also to the Sustainability Next team, all of the co-chairs and all of the members who participated on the task force and beyond, as well as the Office of Sustainability. Uh, and to the stakeholders across our Georgia Tech community who have, who have helped us further sustainability at our institute. Finally, I would like to thank the planning team for this showcase and SDG week. Uh, I know there's folks in the room, but I'm thinking uh, Drew Cutright helped organize most of SDG week. Thank you, Drew. She deserves an applause. <laughs> and, uh, and Trisha, I don't know if, Tr is Trisha here? She's at the other event she's running. And Brent. I don't want to leave anyone. I know there are a lot of folks, Michael Chang, a lot of folks in here that helped plan for that uh, for this whole week. We have over 70 talks, I think, happening throughout the week and events. Uh, so it's a really exciting time. Um, and 
I encourage everyone to attend and learn about all the projects happening across campus. Thank <music> you.